Hi everybody, my name is Jyoti and today I am going to show you how to extract the reactions from STAT directly into Excel sheet without copying and pasting it. So suppose I want to extract the reactions from STAT here in this table and to make use of these reactions further for another programming. Suppose I want to extract the reactions for the nodes 1 and 2 for the load cases 1061 these are the load cases which are I'm using in my stack suppose up to 5 you can take the load cases as many as you want and the nodes as many as you want here I have written a formula to find out how many nodes we have to consider and how many load cases we have to consider in the programming so I want to write and type here the node numbers load cases and the respective reactions here so start programming for it i will create a button I will name it as a git reactions I will start program now I have to define some variables for the node number load cases like that And arrays to store the number of arrays to store the list of nodes and list of load cases. Yes, these are long. Then we have to define one array for the reactions. Of a fixed dimension of 6 as double. now get the values for these variables from our excel sheet so what is number of nodes that is sales what is the cell number two one dash one and for number of load cases is equal to sales two, 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 I think let me check yes it is two two then I have to change the dimensions I mean, I means i have to define the dimensions for these arrays okay so node will be rating yes, one two number of nodes then rating is one two Proceeds.
now I will populate the list of nodes and list of load cases into these arrays from where you have to find out the node list here 3 plus i 1 3 plus i means third row and then we have to add subsequent i's and first row first or third yeah it is first column then you will see sorry for lc we have to run another Now we will set the object which is called obj open stat which is going to connect stat to this excel sheet or this programming We have to be very careful about this syntax. So set obj open start is equal to get object to bracket comma double quotes start pro dot open start. Okay. Now I'm going to use the command which is going to extract the reaction from stat directly to the excel sheet by using the open stat. That is obj open stat dot output dot get support get support reactions for nodes i and for uh, lc j because we are we are going to run the loop for the number of load cases as j and for the number of nodes as i that's why right. then the reaction will be stored in the reaction array itself
Now this reaction array contains six components of the reaction that is fx, fy, fz, mx, my, mz and these six reactions we have to print in this row. So write a loop for that. So for k I will take a variable another variable k 1 to 6 6 means for the reaction component then cells from where I have to start here that means 4 plus i but after getting the reaction for this first node and for the five load cases I have to switch to the next set that means I have to add this much number of load cases after completion of this node let's see I will show you in the programming itself so cell it will be cells 4 plus j j means number of load cases then plus i minus 1 into number of lc's for sixth column is equal to reaction array k minus 1. Why it is k minus 1? Because in open stat the array starts from the array starts from 0 index. That means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total number of components are 6. That's why k minus 1. Because our k starting from 1. 1 means second component for this reaction array and k minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 means 0 first component of this array next k and next j and next i next set OBJ open stat as nothing. It will get out of the stat with this command. Let me check the coding once again. small s this is dimension number of nodes number of lc's nodes array lc array reaction array with six components number of nodes is going to take from cell 2 1 number of lc's it is going to take from cells 2 2 then we are going to change the dimensions of this arrays from 1 to number of nodes for LC it is 1 to number of LCs now we are going to put the components in these arrays that is from I to one. I is equal to 1 to node of number of nodes that is nodes I cells then for LC and we are calling the object here that is open stat which is going to connect our excel sheet with your stat file we are going to run the loop for loop for number of nodes number of lc's then we are extracting the reactions in this reaction array with this command obj open start dot output dot get support reactions for the nodes i lcj then we are printing in our excel sheet with this command ah yes we have missed one thing 
we have to print the node number here and load cases here so we have missed out that one so here i will add, add two lines of the commands sales the same one but the column will be 6 here oh, oh. here I made a mistake this is 7 plus 7 plus K because I wanted to print the reaction from the 7th column 7 plus 8, 9, 10, that means up to here. So I had made their mistake. I'm sorry. Here I what, what I want to print. This is nodes. And next. LCs. And that is not at the column 6 but at 7. now it is okay so in sixth column we will be getting the number of the nodes and in seventh column we will be getting the load cases and in onward columns we are going to get the reactions okay let's check and run our programming for the first time yes we have run this program successfully now check the reactions here you can see the node numbers for first node and for this first five reaction uh, load cases and then for second so check for first node node 1 fx is 43.358 yes then fy 42.899 fz is minus 100 and these are zero because if you see my supports are pin supports that's why there are no moments induced in these supports so in this way we can program to link our excel sheet to start directly and we can get the reactions extracted in our excel sheet further we can use this excel sheet or can use this like design of your best plate design of your foundations and all that's it Thank you my friends, thanks for watching.